Here's our first example. It takes Zara 20 minutes more to cover 20% more distance. This means that if Zara travels at her speed for 20 more minutes, she would have covered 20% more than the original distance. We need to find the time taken by Zara to travel the original distance. Now this is not a straightforward TSD problem where we are given two parameters and asked to find the third. This example can be divided into two parts. First, Zara walking at her speed for some distance and second, Zara continues walking at the same speed for 20 more minutes to cover some more distance. Did you hear me well? I said same speed. It means the speed is constant in both the parts. Whenever there are two parts to a problem, the easiest way to understand it is by using the speed multiplied by time is equal to distance formula for each case. Now as we haven't been given a numerical value for any of the parameters, let's assume this to be our first case. Zara travels at speed s for time t and covers distance d. Now let's talk about the second case. The speed at which Zara travels remains constant so the speed will remain s for the second case as well. She takes 20 minutes more than the original time. The time taken will be t plus 20. And she covers 20% more distance. So the distance will be 1.2d. So these are the two cases in the question. We have just simplified the question. We have to find the time taken to travel the original distance. We need to find t. Are these two equations enough to give us t? At the first look, you would probably say no as there are three variables and just two equations. But let's see if we can work it out. We know that the speed s is the same in both cases. Let's try equating s. In the first case, s will equal d over t and in the second case, s would equal 1.2d over t plus 20. d cancels out and we get t plus 20 equal to 1.2t. Solving this, we get the value of t as 100 minutes. Zara takes 100 minutes to travel the original distance. The beauty about TSD problems is that it does not have to be done in one specific way. If you're not comfortable doing it this way, you can even look at it diagrammatically. Let's say this is the original distance, d. Time taken by Zara to cover it is t. Now let this be 20% of the distance. As it is 20% of the original distance, it will be equal to 0.2d. 20% of d is 0.2d. And based on the question, we can say that Zara takes 20 minutes to travel this distance. This 0.2d distance. Now we can look at these two parts individually. Let's assume her speed is s. For the orange part, we can say that s times t is equal to d. And for the blue part, we can say that s times 20 is equal to 0.2d. If we divide the two equations, s and d will get cancelled. We will get t over 20 equal to 1 over 0.2. This will also give us the value of t as 100 minutes. You can choose whichever method you are comfortable with. And in the TSD problems, there are no rules about following a particular technique. These two ways are easy to understand but may be a bit time consuming. To save time, we need to use an intelligent way to tackle this problem. And that's by using the concept of variation. We know that the speed is constant. It means time and distance are directly proportional. We are talking about 20% more distance. So the overall distance is multiplied by 1.2. As t varies directly with d, we will also have to multiply t with 1.2. This is the new time Zara takes to travel 20% more distance. And to travel the original distance, she takes t units of time. Now understand this really well. The fact that she takes 20 minutes more implies that the difference between this time and the original time will be 20 minutes. So 1.2t minus t will equal 20 minutes. And this gives us t as 100 minutes. And this was really fast. If you understand variation, you have to use this technique. Different books will give you different solutions. 
but you have to choose what you are most comfortable with. There is no point in trying to use the fastest technique if you don't understand it. In every problem you look at in the future sessions, we will understand different ways to tackle it. <laughs>